Hello, I'm Doug and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And here we are at day five of my blind tasting of this whiskey advent calendar, which came in this box that's way too big. I ordered this from a retailer named Muazo in the UK. And they asked, do you want the plain little box or the big fancy box? And I said the plain little box. And they sent this thing, which barely fits on my table. So we are going to find the hole today containing sample number five. And it's small, and I don't know if I'm looking for big letters or here it is. It's just a little number. So I won't need to take any special precautions to not see it, because all I can see is the cap. Some of these have surprised me. Now, although I didn't really think about it beforehand, but these are pretty easy to pull out, open up, and pour without seeing the label. And then I'm putting this in this little lens hood so I can't see anything. There, it's hidden from my view. And this goes back over here on this corner, which almost works. So let's find out what we have here in this class. I'm smelling something malty. I've been tasting whiskeys carefully in two or three years. So as I get more and more experience, I should be able to tell more and more easily what's in the glass. That doesn't always work that way. This is a scotch light concoction. It's malty. It seems medium proof, 43, 45 ABV. And no smoke, no sherry finish that I can tell. No special finishing. Good hefty alcohol waft though. Big hefty alcohol note in the nose. Plenty of vapors. So lots of legs, they're thick. And I don't pay any attention to that. That doesn't always tell me anything about it. But they're unusually artistic today. So this is a, like a, there is honey, buttery, Biscuity, butter, uh, 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 Scottish shortbread type thing. No real fruit. If there was fruit, it would be light things, apples and pears. So we've had a couple like this so far that turned out to be scotches. Not getting a lot of other clues. So we can just go right into the tasting. Wow. I'm thinking higher ABV. 45 to 50 range. It's sharp on the tongue. It does have good multi notes. There's a honey, a buttery character to it. Maybe a lemony note or a lemon zest, orange zest type note. Uh, it's getting a little salty, but then have the other marine notes with it.
So I'm thinking on a space side or a highland scotch. I'm not going to emphasize the salt, but I think there's something in there that's a little salty without being marine, if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm going to add a little water while there's still plenty of liquid left. This could be a higher ABV, maybe over 50. Oh, that spread things out a little bit. Definitely some salt in there. It's nice, malty, a little bit fruity. The apples and pears are in there. So other than the salt, I would plant it right in the middle of space side. It's still a little hot, which is telling me a little higher ABV. And the salty note is persisting, so maybe some highland thing near a coast. But I'm not getting the other marine notes that usually come along. It's not quite funky enough to be Klein Leash, or I would say Klein Leash. Or Pulteney. Probably not salty enough to be all Pulteney or Klein Leash, but Klein Leash is the best guess at this point. So it's a nice color, really light, fairly, fairly yellow, a deep yellow. And color doesn't mean all that much with scotch since they can add color unless you know you have a natural one it's not much of a guide and the best tastiest ones are surprisingly <laughs> low in color so this is keeping that character it's friendly and pleasant and space side ish plus salt. So it's probably from somewhere else in the highlands. It's something uh, modestly coastal. So that's about the best I can do on that guy. And we will now see the Lakes Distillery Steel Bonnets Blended Malt Whiskey 46.6%. So I think that is a British distillery and blended malt. Well, the Scotch rules would say a blended malt has to be a blend of different malts. And that's suggesting different distilleries when you say it that way. So 46.6, I'm tasting that. And at the lakes, I'm don't know more than that. I think I had this last year in, a, in the calendar. And I don't know how I described it as I was tasting it. But the Lakes Distillery from Cumbria. Steel Bonnets. It's their blend and it's uh, pretty good. Pretty high quality. I would, uh, I would certainly drink that and give that to friends. Yeah, that's good stuff. So if you like the reviews and videos that you see here on this channel, please give this video a like and that thumbs up helps a lot and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below, leave some questions. Click that bell to get notified when the new videos come out on Mondays and Thursdays. Although in December, while we're doing the Whiskey Advent Calendar, it's every day up to the 24th of December. So that's all this time and Merry Christmas.